it's a verb, it's telling me that something, that's a happening word, it's an action to evacuate. If I turn that word into a noun, I end up with a suffix ion, and it looks like this. Can you see this word here, evacuation? So now I've got ion, and just before the ion, what letter do you see? Okay, I'll show you another word. What's this word here? Word. Yep. And if I, is it a verb or is it a noun? Yeah. It's, is it telling me that some, something is happening, yeah, like an action? Yeah. So it's a verb, yes. I can turn it into a noun, and if I do, I need to use the suffix ion. So watch this. Can you see the ion? What letter comes before that? Yeah? S. The letter S, that's interesting, isn't it? Let's have a look at another word. What about this word? Explode. Is it a verb or is it a noun? It's a happening word, it's a verb. And if I were to turn it into a noun, what do you think I need to do? Explosion. Yeah, explosion. Let's see what it looks like. That's interesting. What do you see just before the I O N? Okay. I'd like you to sort the verbs together with the nouns and match them, just like I showed you. And you're going to look at those words carefully to see what happens to the verb when I add the suffix ion. into a noun. With commission and commit, um, with commit you've just got to drop the T and then to add, then add double S, then I-O-N, which spells commission. Great. And so the rule is, if the, the, the base, the T, add that's right. Drop the T, add double S, I-O-N. Great. So drop the last T of the base verb, mm -hmm. replace it with double S, and then add the suffix I-O-N. Yep. So we've got commit, Mission. What else do we have? Admit, admission. This is just um, a way for you to check your understanding. And I've got lots of words here, lots of verbs and lots of nouns. And the rules. And these are the rules that you were telling me about. There's actually quite a few rules. In fact, there's eight. There's eight different conditions where I have to do something special to the base verb when I turn it into the noun ending with the suffix ion. So I have written here all the verbs. So you will see the rules are over here. The verbs are over here. And your job is to turn those verbs into nouns by following those rules.
No, you drop the A and you drop the D and then you add S I O N. Yeah, so you just add the I, O, N, and the end of the paper. The base verb ends in a vowel, followed by T. Replace the T with S, S, and then add the sentence. Okay. Okay. will erode away. And then I want you to say the same thing, but use the noun instead. So erosion. So it could be soil erosion occurs. The peacock males love to impress the peacock females. Who the peacock males love to make a good impression on the peacock females. Jimmy likes to create art. Jimmy made, made a wonderful creation. So the base word um, start ha finishes in T E, but you drop the E, keeping the T, and add the suffix I O N. Perfect. An example? Um, complete to completion. Perfect. If the base verb has the suffix N D, you you cross that out and you put in an S, and then you add the suffix I O N. Can you give me an example? Extend to extend. Fantastic, thank you very much. If the base verb ends in BE, drop BE, add TT, then the suffix ION. Perfect, and give me an example of a word. Inscribe to inscription. Perfect. Persuasion, um, if, drop, if the base word ends with DE, you drop DE and add um, SION. So just remember that really, technically speaking, the suffix is I-O-N, yeah. not S-I-O-N. So I would say it like this. If the base verb ends with, what did you say? Um, D-E. D-E. Replace the D-E with the letter S yeah. and then add the suffix yeah. I-O-N. We have explored an explosion for the D-E. And on the DE, so you re take away the DE and you replace it with an, a, um, an S and you add the suffix I O N. Okay. And we also had um, correct and correction, which is if the vowel is followed by a T, then you take away the T and replace it with S S, then the suffix I O N. So if I have the word correct, the last part of the word ends with. A blend of two consonants, it's CT, the K. -t. Can you see that? Yeah. So, what do I do for that one? So, you replace the T with SS and then. No, you don't. No, you don't. You just add the I on it. Yeah, you just leave it alone. Leave that poor old base word alone.